Okay guys, I got the effector uh, hung and the only thing left to do since we're do using a Bowden extruder is to cut, cut our, Bowden to, our Bowden tube to length and connect it up to our extruder. You can see uh, I've mounted the extruder on the top. Um, the reason I did this is because I'm going to there's a spool holder that sits on top of the costal and I'm going to have it feed in right through the front so it'll it'll be a post here and a post here and the roll will feed in this way and for that reason my Bowden tube is sticking out this side so all of my all of my wires are going to run along the Bowden tube that um, that I have and that's why I wanted really long leads for the hot end because it's going to have to go up to the top and back down to the, uh, the Rambo that we're going to be using so uh, the reason that I wait until the end to put the Bowden on is because you can't take it off after you've pushed it into the, your push fit if you pull it back out which you can you will ruin your push fit um, but and also it it connects to very large pieces um, it connects your 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 um, effector and it connects your extruder so um, it's just a bet a better idea to wait till the end so I'm gonna go ahead and connect this and then I'm gonna go ahead and wire everything up the way we had it before and do a movement test and in our next video, we're going to start calibrating. Oh, and a note. Like I said, the biggest pain in the butt you're going to deal with. I, uh, I had to pull my switch off. So I'm going to figure out how to do that. I might even have to or just replace it with a different switch. So let's go ahead and put the Bowden tube on, and then I'm going to show you how it moves.